Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Jake, and this is going to be a new series. It's called Bitter Rambler. Um, this is just kind of the intro for it. Um, and it's just going to be about uh, living in the Bitter Valley. I'm I live in Missoula here, and I travel to the other end of the, the valley during the summer for work. And I'm going to be traveling in this Volkswagen van. Um, to 70 panel van that's had um, quite a few upgrades to it, been modified, most the you know, whole interior, everything. Um, you'll see it, I'll show it to you a little bit later. Um, but basically, I just wanted to introduce myself and um, introduce the series. It's the winter right now, so it's a little bit cold, and uh, well, it's a lot cold. I think it's like, well, actually, it's warm today. I think it's like 30 something. Um, 30 degrees probably, it looks like it's still freezing out, There's still frost on the ground. Um, I'm not living in this during the winter or anything like that, um, like a lot of guys are, but I'm going to be working on it, I'm going to be doing a lot of upgrades to it, um, making it uh, livable for the summer when I, I go back to work uh, down in Darby, which is at the other end of the Bitterroot Valley. Um, I'm going to be living in this while I'm down there every week and you know doing little series of uh, videos and um, just something to keep me busy uh, I'm a big Volkswagen band enthusiast and I, um, I got a couple I've got this one and I've got a, a newer a 1984 uh, Vanagon um, so yeah I uh, I hope everybody enjoys it um, I'm this is I'm not a professional uh, editor or anything like that of video, so hopefully it goes, uh, you know, pretty smoothly. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. But uh, yeah, uh, let me show you the outside of the van. All right. So here she is. This is a, a 1970 uh, Volkswagen. Originally was a panel van. Um, that's been converted into a camper. Um, I bought it from a guy down in Victor, Montana who had it. He had it for about six years. Didn't know much about it. Um, he didn't do the conversion on it. Um, he had bought it, bought it, planning on, you know, of course, what everybody plans on doing, fixing it up and, and taking it out. But, you know, life got in the way and ended up just sitting in his, uh, his um, barn for about six years until he put an ad in Craigslist. Uh, the ad said that he was moving to uh, Arizona and was looking to get uh, rid of this guy. Um, there was no picture on Craigslist, it just said Volkswagen Van 1970. So I flew down to Victor and, well, drove fast down to Victor. <laughs> Looked at it, saw that it was a high top, um, saw that it was, it didn't look like, uh, you know, a, a normal camper. The windows didn't look like a normal camper. I thought it looked really unique. Um, went home with my wife, we talked it over and ended up. Um, buying it from the guy. Uh, so let me show you the front of it. Um, pretty typical looking front of the van. Um, Antan is going to need to be replaced. That's broken off. Uh, originally these vans, um, and it's how a lot of them look now, they have the uh, spare tire on the front of them. The spare tire had been pulled on this guy and somebody had been put uh, uh, an emblem in a spot where the um, spare tire goes. I thought it looks pretty, it looks pretty cool. Um, I, I'm keeping it like that. I did paint that vent white. Um, thought it uh, looked good with the, the white bumpers. And um, the, the uh, high top on it's in great shape. Doesn't have any holes in it, doesn't leak. Um, I will probably be um, resealing it this next, this coming spring or summer, um, just because it, it has, it's got a lot of wear on it as far as traveling down the road and uh, little chips from rocks and stuff in it. So I probably will reseal it with a, some kind of white sealant, probably a rough sealant. Um, here's the side of the van. Uh, these are the windows that have been put into it. Um, single pane. I don't know what they're out of. Um, they're definitely not original, but I think they look cool. I think it kind of gives it like this aviation 
military style looking. Um, here's the back. Top of the the uh, camper has, or the high top has uh, a storage area. Um, I plan on putting a solar system in here, so that's probably where I'll be installing the solar panel, as well as um, having other storage up there. I don't want to put too much up there that's heavy. Uh, these guys do have kind of a, a narrow wheelbase, and they can feel top heavy when you drive them. So I want to avoid making that mistake, <laughs> putting stuff up high. Um, here's the other side of the van. The previous conversion, um, the, whoever did the previous conversion uh, put a few holes in the side of it. Um, actually this hole is kind of cool. It shows you what the original color was of the van. It's kind of an off-white. Um, this was some kind of vent for, it just had a tube coming off of it. Whatever they were planning on doing here, they didn't finish. It was just a vent. Um, but you can see an orange and a brown pinstripe on it. That kind of gives you an idea of what maybe the van originally looked like uh, when it was bought off the lot. Um, right here you have a CB antenna that somebody installed. Obviously it's broken off. Um, so there's another hole behind that mount there. I'll probably be pulling that off. You know, I, I hate to not use the holes for something because um, I mean they're there. So I'll probably end up, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but hopefully I can inc incorporate it some way. And then there was another hole right here and this is where they had put, it was a huge water tank that, that this thing had in it. It was an RV pressurized water tank. There was a pump, pressurizing pump behind the driver's seat and it was just huge and ugly. I tore that out too. I tore everything out from behind, basically behind the two front seats. But I put a badge covering it. It's a steel badge. Um, I think it's cool. You don't see too many badges for VW clubs in the Northwest, so I thought that was neat. And then I just filled the other two holes with screws and sealed it up with silicone, and it should be just fine. I just didn't want it to rust. Um, and then here's the uh, driver's side door. Um, there is some rust underneath the van, of course. I mean, it's from 1970. These vans always have a lot of rust to them. Um, this one's got a few spots on it where I can see where there's Bondo uh, that it's been been worked on. Let me show you the engine. The engines on these old vans are, are pretty cool. They're air cooled, so the only thing that's really cooling the engine is the air that's running from running around the engine. That's why they have these vents on the side of them here. These are these little scoops. Those catch air and force the air down into the engine compartment. And also they have uh, the, the oil in uh, cools the engine too. They have a, a radiator, an oil radiator. Um, it's actually up in the engine compartment behind the engine. It's kind of hard to get to, but that's the other clean element to the, to the engine. A um, couple things about this engine is it's obviously you can see the purple parts on it. Um, when I was went down to look at it in Victor, I saw that and I was like, oh, so... It, I immediately could tell that the engine had been pulled out. Somebody had done work on it. It wasn't original. Usually on these old engines, there's been a lot of modifications. Um, they've probably been, be, been rebuilt once, if not twice. And not, a lot of times there's not a whole lot of information about them. You just gotta drive them and have, you know, make a, a gut instinct decision as whether um, they're, they're sound or, or not. I mean, a lot of them leak oil. Uh, this one leaks a little bit of oil. Um, pretty common with these old engines. Um, it does use oil, um, which is, you know, again, fairly common. Um, just, you know, from the engine getting past the rings, the wear on the rings, the, engine gets, the oil gets passed and gets burned up in, in a combustion in the cylinder. Anyways. There's a little video of the exterior of the van and 
Um, the next video will probably be a video of the interior and some of the things that I've done already to it. I'll also try in this video try and include some pictures. I took some pictures when I tore everything out the back so you can kind of see uh, what I had to start with. Um, all right, so uh, this is the first video for Bitter at Rambler. Guys, please subscribe if you think this is interesting stuff, and uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, thank you.